Susan, do you want to tell us what ACORN is? Uh, well, it's a, a simple prayer. It's asking, you know, the ACORN, asking God to wake up in the morning and you just ask this prayer. Lord, is there somebody you would like me to connect with today and to make that clear to us? Um, so it's very, it's very simple. It's just it's just that prayer, and it's just believing that God is in our space. He's He's present, and He's with us, and He's working in us. He wants to work in us, and we're just asking that to make make um, connections there. So it's Him that's doing the work. So we just say that prayer and then drop it, and then just go through our day and watch, listen. Is there somebody, is there a name that comes into mind that we might not normally think of? And if that's the case, you know, to, to make that connection with that person, maybe give them a phone or, or um, go around and see them. And if you do meet somebody and you feel this could be somebody that God has put here in front of me, mm-hmm. what would you then say to them? So a lot of it is about just how are you doing? How you know how how are things going for you? Just saying, and just starting that conversation. And then it's as simple it, as that. is there another step after that? Um, so yeah, afterwards to to be able to to, to go and to to obey. So going back to that, you know, when you when you when you feel that there's a name, sense that there's a name. Um, being put into mind to to call that person and then to just to, to obey we're hearing God and believing that God is in it and then afterwards to report back um, to speak to somebody else it's always nice to be able to share these stories to say well this is you know I spoke to this person mm-hmm. today I believe you know, this person's name came into my mind. Um, and so, you know, I've had this conversation and, you know, maybe ended up praying with them or praying for them or maybe somebody, maybe they've mentioned a name of a family member or a friend or something. And so afterwards, you know, I said, well, I'm, you know, I believe God wants me to pray for them. So we, we don't really know. And, and it's that reporting back and coming together with somebody else and trying to work through it. Well, where is God in, in this? You know, what, 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 is it, what, is he, what is he doing? And Susan, how did you come across Acorn, and how did you, you know how do you feel it fits with your faith and the way you live as a Christian? So I heard about you know when you get these emails about things, or, or you hear uh, in church, or there's something you know there's um, some sort of meeting about such and such a thing. So I heard about Acorn, and I thought that sounds that sounds something like I would like to find out more. So I did. A, I went along to this Acorn um, event, and I thought, yeah, absolutely. It's so simple, and I, I just think for Christians, it's just it's 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 bringing God into our lives. It's saying, well, yeah, God is real. You know, He's and and what what, what allowing Him to lead the way. You know, because often we, we say to God, yeah, you know, I'm going to do this and, and ask for it to be blessed. But this way it's saying, well, God, you know, what do you need me to do? What can I do? And Susan, could you give us an episode perhaps um, that's happened? Obviously, keep it anonymous as much, but it just a specific you know, ep- episode or you know, a little mm-hmm. story that illustrates mm-hmm. the, what you're talking about. So hairdressers. Uh, that seems to be the end thing. Um, <laughs> so the wee, the wee girl that was washing my hair, this, this was, um, yeah, she was washing my hair. And, you know, I said, so what are you up to? What, you know, how's, how are things going for you just now? 
and and she answered me and, and she says what about you so I says well I've got um, I've got church I think it was a Saturday I've got church tomorrow so I'm looking forward to that and she's oh uh, her mom it turned out her mom had used to go to church when she was very little and then things you know she grew up and grew away from church and when there there was a point in her life that somebody had approached her and asked her if she would like to go to church with her and uh, she said yeah she said she would like to but she didn't feel dressed right you know she dressed in very sort of um casual clothes and quite trendy clothes and that and she didn't feel that she would fit in and you know she said well you know what are your thoughts on it and I said well yeah go for it (laughs) absolutely Mm. and if you go into church and if it actually feels you don't feel welcome you don't feel quite right go and find another one you know just keep going until you find something that, that that seems right so she was like yeah so the next time I saw her she says yeah yeah my mom did go and yeah she feels you know she did feel very welcome and um so yeah it's just you know I don't know what will happen after that sure. um I don't think I saw her again you know often with hairdressers um you know the the, the staff are changing quite regularly so I don't know I don't need to know mm-hmm. you know it's just giving it to yeah. God it's just saying well God you know I noticed so that notice saying well yeah God God was in that mm. yeah mm. lovely yeah. thank you thank you Susan that's You're great welcome.